What's going on, guys? So, here we are. Final part, part four of my collection, headed to my card guard binders. Now, we've come a long way, so I'm actually happy to show you this part of the collection because this part is, like, uh, the least seen. Like, you you least come across these cards. Well, obviously, steel type that you see before you. Um, I don't know. In my experience, it's been very unlikely to pull some types like these unless they're, like, commons. But still, to complete, like, an evolution line of one of these Pokemon, it would be kind of difficult to especially trying to complete a set steel type for me is hard to collect so i have very little of them this is why they're in this binder with the least that least of the cards that you'll come across plus i have many um gym uh gym challenge from the 90s um i have a lot of darks and light pokemon here um i think i have the eevee no no i don't have the evolutions here but um i do have i think the fossil evolutions are here and a lot of my old school trainers. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, let's see. Let's take a look at this. Let me start off with Mawwow and Ponyard and his evolution, Bisharp. You have your steelix 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 fortress more steelix that's four of them three fortress um bronzor we don't have air aaron that's four of them four five six six aarons we start with lair on lair lair on lair on one two three four five six seven seven of them and their evolution over here agron tough pokemon to evolve it takes forever his experience to get those experience points oh my god had, have you had to grind in those games back in the day to get agron he was a good pokemon to have on your team uh more bronze source so that would be one two three four four okay no just four Four bronze swords. All right, all right. You got me there. Have some Excalvior, is whatever his name is. Excavlier, dope Pokemon. Skarmory. I have three Skarmory here. Six all together. Let me see. Hone Edge, Hone Edge, Do Blade, Double Blade. Whatever. Sue me. Corviknight, Beldum, um, let's see, Beldum, so we have, what, two, one Beldum there, another Beldum, or Clanks, Clinks, uh, Scizor, four Scizors, the Meows, the Meows that I were looking for, I could have put these in, um, I believe I have more Meows, but we'll take, we'll, you know, we'll jot those down that we have them there too. Uh, three Kufants, Preserker. Preserker will lay the jaws on, uh, on Persian. Persian has no chance. Uh, Dugtrio, another Diglett. I think I have enough Diglets to put in the binder now. Okay, so now we're done with Steel types. And that's not that many. And Fairy types. R.I.P. Fairy types. I hope they do bring it back. That was a very dope mechanic. Add another type. I mean, you know. So nowadays, what do you really call Sylveon? You know, Sylveon exists now. But in the games, there's still fairy fairy uh, type moves. But in the TCG, there's no more fairy type cards. So that was a pretty dope concept. Hope they bring it back. If not, R.I.P. But um, Spitzri, Snubble, Jigglypuff. Bebe, Floet, Swirlix, more of them here, Wigglytuff, Snubble, Jigglypuff. Off camera, I've checked in my normal type binder for the Jigglypuff, and I don't have enough. So what do I have? I got one here, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five. I have, I think, an Erica's Jigglypuff, and then 
I have two more in the normal type. That's eight. I don't have all nine, I think. Uh, more Mr. Mime, Floets. All right, so now that's fairy type. Here we go into very old, old territory. That's the Dark Sylveon that we pulled, but since I had Dark in the name, I kept it with, with these cards. But we pulled that earlier, the Celebration stamp, stamp on it. Um, Very cool cards. I'm actually going to have something... All right, so very cool cards. The Light Vaporeon, the Dark Vaporeon, Dark Artillery, Dark Persian, Dark, you know, all the Dark ones, Dark Muck and Fortress, uh, Kadabra, Arbuck, they're all dark. Some were light. Those were dope. Light Wigglytuff, Light Golduck. I mean, to me, they're rare because one, for the Wigglytuff that it has a Caterpie in the artwork, and two, because they're least to be pulled. Like, they're so hard to be pulled. Um, even them being uncommon cards in the set. Uh, what else was I going to say? You have here Dark Electro and Dark Jolteon. Um, the Light Dragonairs, Dark Dragonairs, Dark Dragonair. I had Light and Dark uh, Dragonites here, but we'll eventually get to them very soon. Uh, you'll see why. Um, Dark Gyarados Hollow. I have my Dark Charizard as my prize card. Um, Dark Charizard, I believe right now goes for, well, the first edition goes for like 300. Mine's isn't, but it's still the Hollow one, and it's my prize. Uh, Rapidash, Vileplume, Dark Weezing is also Hollow. Dark Muck, Dark Muck, this is a 2004 card. I'm actually happy that this concept of dark and light went into um later collections late later sets uh more tyranitar is another dark gyarados now i have one non-hollow and i have one hollow uh light some flora crobat dark ariados dark trio dark muck and dark wheezing now here we're going to the gym challengers as you can see they're all there. And this is me just uh, going through this collection with you. Because I haven't showed you guys this part of the collection yet. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, what I was going to say. For right now, we're just skimming through this uh, part of the collection. Because off camera, I have been putting cards in the card guard. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have these cards of a part of my collection. Just to show it um, to you guys and whatnot. But I have been putting cards in the card guard. Nine of each. And we'll get to that as you know, soon as we're done with this. But I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, these are very old cards. I'm pretty sure you recognize some of them. And some guys are looking at this like, yo, what? But, um, but yeah, they existed. And they're old. And here they are. Lieutenant Surge Sparrow. <clears throat> Another Jigglypuff. That makes six of them. Uh, yeah. Bulbasaur, Paris, Ivysaur, Voltorb. Uh, Ghastly, uh, Abra, Kadabra. I have Sabrina's Alakazam as well. Um, Growlithe, Drowsy. Oh, he's coming out. Uh, Giovanni's, uh, Need Arena, Giovanni's Persian, Hollow. I think that's first edition? No, it's not first edition. Um, Machokes, Machops, Brox Onyx, first edition, Pidgey. Um, and that's it. That's it for them. And here are my Japanese old school cards. And I've also been including these into the collection as well. Machokes, Machops, Gyarados, Hollow, base set, Japanese. The the Licky Tongues, um, what is this, Brock's Licky Tongue, Dark Muck, Japanese, Cloister, I think that's Dark Starmie, Dark Electrode, the Noctow, I mean, those, these, uh, Rocket Scyther, Hollow, and I think after these are just, um, regular, no yeah, the Japanese cards from nowadays, they have the silver trim on them. And they're all perfectly centered because they're from Japanese. J they're from Japan, so they have very strict, strict um, 
rules regarding the production of their product has to be A1. So no wrong on the cards. You collect them, you sleeve them, and you keep them forever. There should be no smudges, no print lines, nothing. And yeah, these are the old school trainer Japaneses. And then, as you can see, that's all I have. And then we'll hop into my trainers. All trainers from, let me actually get it well centered. So you guys get a better look. But yeah, these are all the trainers that, you know, I picked out best centering, best uh, look overall. Um, like I said, some glossy, some matte. Um, no doubles, no doubles of any. If I, if I have doubles, they would be in a container of loose cards, obviously all sleeved. But I include those um, in these little mystery booster packs that I include. And, you know, anybody who subscribes to the channel and leaves comments and actually throws me a like or two. Um, I'll bless it with, you know, one of those customized packs with a double of one of these old school trainer cards, too. Yep. Switch, Digger, Sleep, New Pokedex, Super Rod, Balloonberry, Rocket's Hideout. Um, yeah. Moo Moo Milk, Sprout Tower. I have all the energy retrievals here. I have uh, energy search, super energy removal, energy flow, energy retrieval, energy amplifier, energy search, retrieval, and energy recycle system. I try to keep everything within like its own group as for like energies and people in the artwork. So as you can see, and then here's like just things, just regular switch, just regular uh, trainer cards. And this would be people. So this is like a page full of things. This is my prize right there. Here comes Team Rocket, first edition. Um, and yeah. You know, things, energy, look more and energy in the name. Potions, they all get one. Yep, things. More gusts of wind, bills, you know, another here comes Team Rocket, but not first edition, but it's still hollow. So I could say I have both. Um, a page full of Pokeballs, missing one slot, so that's for the next Pokeball that I get. Um, people, here's the full art. Uh, Oleana, Team Yell Grunt, remember that we pulled in earlier videos. Um, another here comes Team Rocket. This is a rocket sneak attack, all both hollows. And yeah, these are most recent trainers. You'll obviously recognize a lot of them because these are the ones that we're pulling now to date. Got the professor's research with the 25 stamp. Um, so yeah. And eventually I plan on throwing all my trainers at least the old school ones first in one of these uh exclusive ultra pro um from target binders with no sleeves so let me know shoot me a comment if you're interested in seeing some content like that because if not i'm probably just gonna do it off screen yeah everything will pull as a recent the full art professor's research which that's so dope more potions. And yeah, more people. Professor's, professor's research with the 25 stamp. Here comes Team Rocket with the 25 stamp. Mm-hmm. This is where I throw my trainers, guys. All trainers. Spark. And then that is the end of that. And now I have energy cards that come out through the years. So any energy that comes out through the years, I collect them. Like if they change the artwork, I collect them. Um, you know, I have the old school energy cards here. I have, you know, as they changed, I collect each variation of them. Just to say, you know, this is what it looked like in that year. Because the years are still on the bottom of the cards now. And yes, 
I've actually come across a store in Little Ferry, New Jersey that sells these. And I could probably finish my collection with these because these used to come out, I think, with the Burger King sets. And these are what I'm after. And Tops too. I think Tops also came out with uh, two. So I want to do Tops as well. But um, yeah, I think these were the Burger King cards. So I'm really trying to finish these if I can. And as you can see, I don't have much. But to come across these cards is so rare. I mean, to me, they're worth, you know. Um, it is worth a lot, too, if you have a complete collection. Just saying. Uh, these are the cards that you get from the tins. That if you have all six of them, all six tins that are different to collect. I think it's eight tins. Um, you can complete a picture. I have these three so far. I haven't been collecting tins as of late. And my oversized cards. I have oversized. Let me move it over here. Uh, oversized Trico 25 stamp. Oh, sorry. Oversized Garchomp EX from, I want to say, 2014. Torchic, Mudkip, Snivy, Oshawott, Turtwig, Tetpig, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Chikorita, Piplup, Chimchar. I have the Dark Sylveon with her train on paperwork. Charizard V. And I th I th think I don't oops, I don't know what I did there. Bulbasaur. You know what? Now that you're here, let's correct what we did back here. And since there's no card here, let's throw that Bulbasaur in there. So yeah, Lance's Charizard V, earlier video. Make sure y'all see that. Squirtle, Charmander. Uh, we got the, the Hoopa V oversize. We got the Mewtwo V Union, the card itself, if all four pieces are put together. I can't wait to have a complete collection of Mewtwo. I'm actually, now that I said it, I'm going to go back into my... Uh, I'm going to go back into my card gardens. I mean... Uh, the Mewtwo side of my legendary collection and see because this is already four cards in of itself so that's four all I need is five more let me see if I have five more Mewtwo's the more Peko V Union remember him Dragon IV from Christmas Hatterene V Leafeon V Star and Lucario V Star from the recent pull so yeah, that's this side of the collection. Now I want to see, I want to show you guys how far I've come along on the. I'm gonna actually put this binder to the side because I I think I counted enough mucks, but um, I want to show you guys how this thing looks, and it looks very beautiful to look at. I mean, if you're an avid fan and an avid collector, looking through this binder right now might make you feel good and might bring a lot of nostalgia back so uh without further ado pikachus remember the pikachus so now i moved one so now this artwork can be closer to the 25 stamp pikachu and i can compare the both now there's this little looking curve here that's not present in this pikachu they made it much wider i don't know what that is but uh they corrected it here and it's good it's good to uh have both sides to see how he would have looked like in the jungle with that artwork. Um, to have full art uh, Pokemon cards back in the day in the 90s, man, imagine that. That would have been something. But yeah, the Pikachus. Let me see. Mm hmm. The Raichus. I can't part with them. Electrikes. The Magnemites. The Mareeps. Where I accidentally thought I had enough. But I'll eventually fill those slots. The Morpeko. 
that's what I meant about the Mewtwo. Like, it already holds four spots, so I just need five right there. Charmanders. In my recent pickup short, I posted that I picked up the English version of Charmander. That was such a that was such a good moment for me. I felt great. Uh, Vulpix. The whole page of Eevee is complete with these last two pickups that I had at that comic book store. So, you know, it's great to see. Weedles, Horsies. We did this all together. Golding, Oddish, Zubat, Ekans, Coughing. Uh, in my recent pickup, I got a Shadowless Coughing. So that's just one slot left to go. Uh, Grimers, Glooms, completed the Glooms, completed the Star Use. Porygons. I went back and sleeved that uh, Porygon over here. Some of y'all caught that. The Gold Trim Meowth. All the Skitties, the Machops. Diglets. The Natus. The Natus. And the Zatus. My Lucarios. My uh, Raditas. This is what I said that I went back behind your backs. And I'm sorry that I did. And started completing slots. Now, as you can see, had the dark Alolan Radita. It's still a Radita. So I concluded in the nine pages, in the nine slot page. Japanese Lieutenant Surge's Radita. I mean, Lieutenant Surge's Radita right here. English version. It's all great to look at. Geodude, I went back and took the Brock's Geodude since we counted eight last video. I found number nine right there. All right, so Rhyhorns, I didn't have, you know, nine, so I went back and got Brock's Rhyhorn. And I think this one, Japanese Slowpoke, yeah, so I completed that Slowpoke there. Um, Rolts. Uh, Rolts I did because I think I didn't count the Rolts that I put with the fire types. And that's why I went wrong. So I didn't do that. Um, that's why I only counted eight in the... Oh, no, I think it was because I found it in the, the fairy type binder. So I was like, oh, wait, that's number nine right there. The Electabuzz. Let me actually show you the Electabuzz page. In my recent pickup, I found this card right there. And... I don't know where it's from, and I don't really know the history of it. If somebody could please tell me if they have any info on that card in those releases, because I got a Hitmonchan just like that, and it says best on the corner, but the Hitmonchan says winner right on that side right there. They both say best, but this Electabuzz doesn't say winner. So I don't know what it is, but um, it'd be nice to know. Anyways, what I was going to say... So that's my Electabuzz page right there. Larvitars, the Flaffies on the recent pickups. Since now I just picked up the, uh, what is that? Unseen Forces. So I picked that one up, completed the Flaffy line. I picked this Larvitar up and then I completed the Larvitars. And I thought I had it, but I have apparently had two haunters and this one looked better than the other one so i'm gonna keep all of these here and just wait till i come across another haunter i have the shadowless haunter i have base set haunter i have let haunter from legendary collection haunter from fossil and the non-hollow fossil haunter so yeah that's how far the card guard has gone I mean, you guys have been on this journey with me, and this is pretty awesome that we did it together, you know? Um, thank you for helping me out, guys, because this is, this is just amazing that I could do this, you know?
and it's safe. I know these cards are going to be safe forever. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to finish there. I want to let you guys know, I recently picked up this new uh, Lost Origin set. This little Lost Origin booster box that comes with the promo cards Chimchar, Monferno, and Infernape. I don't have that many Infernape, so I took the opportunity to get the hollow one. Um... It's part of a set. It's not a Black Star promo. My mistake. So at least you're confirmed that you're getting these cards. Um. So yeah, let's open up this Lost Origin. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. That golden Charizard. Nice. Claws coming out. Breaking the fourth wall. Charizard, I see you. Inferno, code card is for me. Monferno. I wish they made these hollow. That would have been dope if they made them hollow. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Recycle that. Nice. So, this code card is for y'all. There you go. Have fun with that. Now, one, two, three, four. It's a white one, so we're not going to get good cards on this one. Psychic. Licky Licky. Relicanth. Lost Vacuum. Slugma. Now, this is the first time we're opening this set, anything from this set, on Clefairy. That might make me complete the... Huh. Apom. So, all this artwork is new. Litwick. No, get out of here. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's no, no way. There's just no way. No way. All right, gently I picked it back up without exposing the card that's on the bottom. I just had to get that one off my chest real quick. Comfy? Comfy. I don't remember this Pokemon. Oh, man. Get out of here, man. Get the heck out of here, man. Get the heck out of here, man. All right, so that's a very sweet day. Got the full art Snorlax. That's a, you know, I think that's what, what's that called? Secret Rare or something like that. They just throw it in the, in the set. And the Infernape. All right, so you guys saw the card guard. I'm glad that you guys had a, you know, fun time with that. Um, let me know anything. If you guys are curious, shoot me a like, shoot me a comment. I'll definitely get in touch with you guys. If you guys are interested in those little booster packs that I have, let me know. Email me. Um. So yeah, guys, till next time, till next time, uh, this is for y'all, cards are for me, have a great one.